Shalom, shalom, sons and daughters of Major One. Welcome to another video. In this video, our father expresses his love to our mother, Prophetess Mary Bashiri, on her birthday. Watch the video. Prophet Dr. Shepard Bushiri. Put us together. Thank you so much. We may be seated. Once again, I'd like to give my acknowledgments to our wonderful invited guests that are in our midst, the Parliament Chief Gomani and the Queen uh, present here today. I'm so greatly honored for your coming, for being here. I'm also honored once again to see a great um, man in this country, Ona Bonkaka, who's here. Allow me also to acknowledge the presence of Honorable Timothy Ntambo, Honorable Mawa, the Chief Executive Officer for Lilongwe City, Mr. McLeod Kadamanja. And uh, allow me also to acknowledge um, my counsel, the one who speaks the constitution for us. Thank you so much, and uh, Madam. May God bless you for coming here and honoring this invitation. I love meeting people in celebrations than in funerals. So at least we are meeting in celebrations. May God bless you for coming here. When we go to the college, thank you so much. Bishop Malani Tonga, who is also here, and all other great men and women of God present here. I have also seen um, my parents from both the sides. They're all here. Strong, healthy, and alive. I'm so proud to see you here. I'm not standing here to make a speech for my wife. I'm standing here to make a prayer for her. Throughout, throughout her birthday season, there's no speech I've made for her apart from praying for her. Two days ago, I took her to the prayer mountain. And we were there, and we just arrived now. We spent our days in prayer. And we had to drive far away and just to pray I do believe that where we are going is very critical. The next stage of our lives is very critical. God spoke to me and he said, I have not started anything in your life. I'm about to start doing a new thing. Wow. People think you are blessed, but the Lord said, wait, I'm about to perform a wonder. <laughs> People think you have started ministering and serving me, but the Lord said, wow, I'm about to perform a wonder. <laughs> when I heard those words, I knew I needed my wife more than anything. And the only thing on her birthday that can be given is a prayer that she should be able to stand. I'm not a person who is moved by anything. 
I always believe what God said. It doesn't matter what the world thinks, what the world say, it doesn't matter. I have the word that I, I, I get hold of, 